Hey everybody, it's Rochelle. Welcome back. One of the products in the bag that my friend gave me to try was this Molten Brown of London uh, Black Peppercorn Body Wash. It's a one ounce sample. I wasn't sure. Black Peppercorn Body Wash? I don't know. Do you want to smell like pepper? Well, apparently this is like one of the top scents on this uh, MoltenBrown.com website. It's saying it has, uh, let's see, the making of the fragrance here. The extract is coriander. The top note is black pepper. The heart note is vetiver. I don't know what that is. And the base note is piper nigrum seed. Um, okay. I th it's going to be a spicy scent, right? So I prefer something a little more herbal like a lavender or sweet like a vanilla or warming like a cinnamon but well, we could try spicy right why not uh let's see the site set has a little bit of uh black pepper history here so it says uh black pepper has been cultivated in madagascar since the 16th century the island's fertile red soil and the cultivation of its black pepper variety and vanilla Secure its reputation as one of the world's greater spice centers. I should have gone with the vanilla. Anyway, I've tried this a couple of times. I obviously can't do this in real time to test it for you. But it lathered up nicely. It left my skin soft enough. It wasn't anything remarkable, to be honest with you. So what did I tell you? I got a one-ounce sample. On the website, it's 10 ounces for $30. Uh, a little steep, so let's smell this. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't really get the coriander, and I don't know what the other two are. I don't know what vetiver, but it definitely smells like pepper. And you know what, guys? I really don't want to smell like pepper. This sucks. Sorry. Um, for $30, I, I don't want to be bothered with that. I would rather, you know what I use? I've been using Dr. Bronner's, I think it's almond. It's wonderful. I either have it just with that, or I add a little bit of, say, peppermint or lavender to that. It's wonderful. I love it. It doesn't lather up as much as these things, but these have chemicals in it to, to make it more sudsy. The Dr. Bronner's is, is pretty pure, so it lathers up a little bit, but not much. But my skin is usually softer with just that that plain, um, non-chemical-laden soap, right? So, yeah, I'm going to pass on this, guys. I don't think it's a good, a good buy. You may like it. I I'm going to pass. This wasn't one of my favorite samples that I've tried lately. Oh, well, I'll see you for the next review next time. Bye, guys.